you made your Olympic debut this year in Vancouver. Tell us about your experience being a part of Team USA. You know, I, I dreamed about it for so many years, and it's hard to believe, but it really, you know, it exceeded all my expectations and everything I had imagined. So just being a member not only of the hockey team, but of Team USA as a whole, and you really felt that camaraderie among all the athletes. So, you know, we'd have dinner with them in the cafeteria and then watch them race the next day. And, you know, doing that, it, having lunch with people from all over the world, it, it's experiences beyond the actual, you know, sport of ice hockey that you can't really get anywhere else. So that as a whole, it, it really was a dream come true and once-in-a-lifetime experience. How cool was it for you playing with women that you always looked up to, like four-time Olympians Angela Ruggiero and Jenny Potter? We give them a hard time because we were 10 years old when they won the gold medal in 98, and we would remind them of that a lot. So they're, they're definitely great role models for, for not only us, but the sport and all the little kids still. So it was, it was a great honor to get to play with them, and I'm lucky enough to be on the team when they're still here. So I got to learn from a lot of great leaders. What was the most important lesson that you learned? I would say there's two. One is just the love of the game. You know, you go to the rink every day with 21 other kids who just love to play hockey, and, you know, it's their passion in life, and you kind of grow off of that and the excitement and the energy. And, you know, we have 30-year-olds who are 10-year-olds on the ice who are just so excited to be there. So I think that part of it, and also just the camaraderie of a team and how, you know, if you get to know each other and really know each other beyond just the rink, it can be an unbelievable experience. Those those 20 other girls became like family members, and you know I've never really had that before. So I think just taking advantage of the people you're around, they're all amazing girls and women, and I think I'll stay friends with them for a long time. And what did you enjoy the most? What was your favorite Olympic moment? I would have to say walking out at opening ceremonies. Everyone told me that would be like a surreal moment, and it really was. It's, it's hard to kind of put into words that experience. But also just being with my friends and family. I was fortunate enough, Vancouver's kind of nearby, so... I had 10 or 15 friends and family out there and getting to share the whole experience with them because they've been, every, been through everything with me throughout the years, so it's kind of their reward as well. And winning a silver medal is an amazing accomplishment, but does it make you even more hungry to improve and come back and hopefully get a gold in your next Olympics? It definitely does. I've been fortunate enough to be uh, on the winning team at two world championships and to hear that national anthem played and watch your flag being raised and, and now being at the Olympics and that whole thing and coming so close but not actually winning the gold medal. I think, I think it kind of drives all of us to come back. We have a good core group, and you know that was our ultimate goal is to win a gold medal. So as proud as we are of our accomplishments, and it was an amazing experience, there's still something missing, and we definitely want to go back for that.